welcome to Watch Sixto. My name's Sixto. Today is a review, um, a review on my Hamilton H385410 Jazzmaster. Uh, nice little gold plated uh, case. Let me zoom in so you can show the beautiful detail. Look at that. As you can see, it has it's a stainless steel, sapphire crystal, Swiss made. This is uh, the quartz movement. There's a reference model. Uh, it's water resistance to five bar, so 50 meters. Not a whole lot you can do with it. Splash proof. It's on the, oh, let me zoom out. Ooh, let's zoom in. And it's on a new uh, leather strap from Barton. Got this off of Amazon. Let me pause real quick. Sorry about that. My my heater was going off. Apparently it got a little too cold in here, but it's not really. So where was I? Oh yeah, it's a Barton str uh, leather strap. Here's the case, the box that it came in. And here is the original strap. You can see it got worn the heck out of it. And check this out. Bam! You see that? Okay, they're supposed to look like... Supposed to be like this. Not like that. Not if you had a curve. Uh, not if you needed it for... To be curved. So, that's trash. And look at this guy. This poor little guy. It, this definitely got some good wear out of it. So, so the button came off on the. I had this regular stainless steel. So I put the gold plated buckle on there because it has a Hamilton branding on there. Let's see if I can get it focused. But, so I decided to upgrade it. And of course you see, now I got two hammies. I started out with no Hamiltons. I reviewed a Jazzmaster. That's my first hands-on. And I bought this little bad boy. And now I got this one. I got a Hamilton. I got two hammies in my collection. Times off. Oh, that's the date. So this is the quartz movement. It's, uh, took a picture of it. Uh, it scared me at first because I wasn't sure it was any problem with it. But put a new battery in, and she's taken away. Obviously, no, no running seconds like how this one has. But I like how it's the pull push crown. You the final pop is for the time. So and they have the date wheel at the six o'clock, which is pretty cool. And like I said, quartz movement, uh, Swiss made. Nothing, nothing wrong with quartz. Oh yeah. And the crown is also got its uh, engraving on there. Maybe. Let's see if I can zoom in. There it is. Bam. Look at that nice little gold texture on there. So it's at the time setting. Jump date. Boom. Just like that. And then let me zoom out. What? <laughs> Micro shot to the extreme. So I'm going to break in my new leather strap. 
and I was still thinking about uh, getting the, the actual Hamilton, the uh, deployment clasp. Saw so that I'm on eBay for I think it was like a hundred dollars, but I also got a. Ooh, that was not good. <laughs> First failure. Oh, this guy right here is the uh, spring loaded. So. First casualty of the time. <laughs> that was fun. Good thing nothing happened to my little hammy. Let's try this again. I didn't put it in the actual folder yet. Have you guys had a, any experience with uh, Barton straps? Positive or negative? This is my first time actually having hands-on experience with them. So far they feel fine. Seven and three quarter inch wrist. Because I bought another one for this little guy. Let's see. Nice little olive green to go off with this one because I plan on wearing this one. Oh, I still can't get enough of that. Honestly, if you guys don't have a Hamilton in your collection, um, I say get one. They're awesome history. First started in the, uh, the United States and they moved to Switzerland to continue on their their uh, manufacture to make it all Swiss. Making sure. Don't want that to happen again. And again, if you guys uh, you guys know this, the song and dance, uh, like, uh, subscribe, comment down below. Until the next one, you guys have a good one. And make sure, make sure to really check your straps, because it happens to the best of us. You guys, you guys are awesome. I'm out. Bye.